Okay. Told you. We got this. This guy. He's got a name that we're not going to disclose yet. But. As promised. I have a snack crate. And now I need to find something to open it. My key. Better not use my truck key. I need to get home sometime. <laughs> but I have my trusty. Trusty. Whatever. Multi-tool with me. But. Okay. Now like I said. Like I said, remember, I have no idea where this came from. Um, could be Italy, could be France, could be Germany. Could be Saskatchewan, for all we know. But, it came in the mail a couple days ago, so... It says, good day on it. Ooh, I wonder if this is Australian. I hope it don't have Vegemite, because I heard that tastes horrible. That might mm. be pretty bad. We'll find out. Yeah. Camel spider jumps out on you. It is Australia. <laughs> that would that would suck. That'd be horrible. <laughs> we. I really want a woman in a bathing suit. No I'm kidding. <laughs> yes. No. Come from Australia. Good eye, Mike. Crikey. It's funny. We were just doing that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> pulling a Stephen Irwin impersonation, and then all of a sudden, this is Australian. Pretty guy though. Yeah, he was a great guy. He loved that love, loved animals. I mean, anybody that will go up and touch the most venomous snake slash spider in the world and try to wrestle alligators is really the Man, biggest God, animal ever. Real man or just crazy. Remember, you get stickers with it. You want stickers? Stickers. You have stickers. I never use the stickers. And <laughs> makes it a lot easier today, being as we got a guest on the show. <laughs> Sorry about that. Somebody annoying was calling me. I have no idea who it was, but they're automatically annoying. I got a didgeridoo on my head. A didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an Australian totem pole, to be honest. He's an aborigine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. We've got, because I feel it's only appropriate to do it in this voice, Samboy. Atomic tomato. Be hot. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take my medicine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You Australians like spicy stuff? Okay, I'm gonna quit before I'm before I offend somebody. I don't know. They might. It smells tangy, definitely. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like uh, the the pizza Pringles. Yeah, that's it. Wow. I'm gonna get on there and order more of these. <laughs> Give you a little close up. <laughs> Swiss chip. <laughs> Swiss it, chip from Australia. If it'll focus, you can. Oh well, who knows? Close enough. Now we got some twisties. <laughs> See, I think these. Should... I think they might just taste like the original Lay's. These? Maybe. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese flavored. Mm -hmm. Twisties. Um, so I'm going to guess they're going to be Cheetos. From down on up. That's why I saw Cheetos. They are. The Cheetos. Oh. From down on up. Holy crap. Cheetos. You can't go wrong with Cheetos. I don't know. It's got a really, really weird cheese smell. But I don't know, it might be more realistic cheese smell. It might be cheddar. No, it's like the powdered popcorn cheese. Yeah. I've ate way too much food that I can recognize it that it's easy. Just means you like living. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all this stuff is good, by the way. Dang it, I forgot to bring a cup, so I guess I'll water for all this. The heck is it? It's a drink. Australia. Two gummies. Strawberries and cream. Yeah, but from other countries, they somehow make they it better. Yeah, because I guess all the food regulations in our country, which 
uh, it has been proven doesn't really do anything at all. Uh, Thanks, Michelle. It, and no, it's not even I Michelle, know. but uh, <laughs> she just ruined our school and just starving kids. I remember those days. Vietnam flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take me back to high school. <laughs> No, really, the lunches have really gotten worse. Strawberries and cream. I'm assuming the white part is the cream. I hope so. Strawberry cheesecake taste. Ooh. It's milky. Ooh. Very chewy. But also cold. It's just set up my truck on that. <laughs> but really good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh oh. I don't like the sound of this. I'm trying to figure out how we use it. Y'all know how to use this? In case any of you are watching from Australia? It feels powdery. I bet some grape mix. It says original sherbet. Do the land down under not believe in directions, or do they automatically just know how to use things? Or maybe they're not dumb like us Americans and need instructions for everything. Sad to say this, I'm not going to try it, because i got to research it to see how to use it. You know what you gotta do? Tear it open. Leave your finger. Or. <laughs> we'll redneck this. Redneck High tech redneck. Or just pour it up in your hand and go. One or two. Mm, definitely smells orangey. Orangey. Ah, <laughs> no. It's got a scooper. <laughs> like a little poop scooper. <laughs> This looks like crack, y'all. We're not doing crack. This is from Australia. Oh, it does look like cocaine, doesn't it? It does. Why, should, why do we know what cocaine looks like, though? Movies. That is not all the way correct, I don't believe. They but, probably use baby powder. Well, probably, but this is our assumption of what the movies say it is. That's true. Just for the record, I really don't know what it looks like, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to smell this. Quit being, quit being paranoid, man. <laughs> I want to smell this. But I'm afraid it'll right up the nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's let's taste with your or uh, well, let's uh, smell with your mouth. I guess. Yeah. Oh, holy crap! It's like the the uh, pixie sticks. Yeah, it's a pixie stick with, with a pooper scooper. <laughs> or uh. It's just, it's basically just powdered sugar. With flavoring. Yeah. Hmm. We'll stick that back down in there. Oh, I got served that time. Woo. <laughs> it's a little strong. Ah. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. They're called shapes. Flavored Vegemite and cheese. I'm scared. We got this. Everybody that's ever done Vegemite said it tastes horrible unless you're Australian and they apparently love this stuff. They are kind of backwards. Well, they're under. It's true. They're always looking up at us. Now, what, what if... Aw, they're shaped like Australia. Huh. Yeah. Well. Cool. Should I be worried? You might. It, it smells like the, uh, uh, cracker, what are they called? Uh, Cheez-Its? No. Maybe, no. I don't think Cheez-Its. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Very, very strong at the very beginning. It's okay toward the end, but. I don't think it's bad in general at all. Mm. 
I forgot what those were called. They're like, they're not Cheez-Its. I mean, they, the aftertaste is like a Cheez-It. Goofies? No. It's got like all the herbs and flavor on it. Like this. Oh, um, chicken biscuit. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Once again, I realize I've ate too much stuff in my life. I just forget the names. Okay. Those were okay. I guess that's why the Vegemite wasn't in like such strong form. Could you imagine if it, because you could taste you it. Could, oh, for sure. But, but, yeah, if it was in full form, you, we wouldn't have been able to stand it. Like, some people probably spread it on their toast and I'm just like, ooh. No. They use it like Nutella. I, never, I hardly ever use Nutella. It's good, though. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that I ain't got no other. It's not gum, no. Um, no other like chips or something like that. Because I like to save the snacks to last or the candy stuff. That way, it doesn't ruin my taste buds for the next. Because you know, candy sticky, it gets in yeah. your teeth. None of these are sponsors, by the way. Obviously, because we don't know who these people are. This. Package is hard to open. It's a sour watermelon treat, and I guess I should hold it right for y'all. It'll flip it. It's know. childproof. Yeah. <laughs> Everything childproof is adult proof. They just don't tell you that. Apparently. Maybe it's just stupid proof. Because I've had issues with a lot of stuff. I do not identify as stupid. You've been a proof. <laughs> no. Good grief, I wrapped again. Well, you can, you can have that one. <laughs> Unwrap yours, too. I know. But there's supposed to be a little fruit chew. Dangerous? Lethal? I think the whole factory employee team just came through. Yeah. Hard as a rock. I just call her cold. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm warming up a little bit. Ooh, that's sour. I hate the sour part yet. I just ain't more than just sour. Ooh. It's making my mouth water. Yep. It's not n nowhere near warheads. No, warheads are just horrible. It's not that bad for me. I got a sour part on that one. Mm. It hit you. It, it hit yeah. you in waves. Okay. Now I've heard of these. Tim Tams. Yeah. Tim Tams. Which is ironic because I have a had a relative that recently just passed away. Her name was Tammy. Her husband's name was Tim. Hmm. So Tim Tams. Hmm. And I'm going to break this in half. Because there's another one in here, but I want to give my chance, my family chance to try these too. You can grab one. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, just to clarify, it looks like a chocolate covered cookie, to be honest with you, with maybe some cream in the middle, chocolate cream. Mm. That's what. Mmm. Mmm. Little Debbie, you need to call him up and take note. <laughs> Little Debbie, you ain't got nothing on them. That was good. It tasted real, if that makes sense. Like, it wasn't made in a factory. Now, I think this is gum, so I'll save it to last after the drink. Okay. A golden rough and a mint patty. Which one should I do first? Do the coconut one. You like coconut? Yeah, the coconut's okay. I prefer coconut over mint. Mm. Yeah, mint chocolate. Yeah. I wonder if those are the same people that invented pineapple on a pizza. I don't know. This is really sad, though. <laughs> but it's such a good pizza. It's great. Right, I'm going to take this, and you grab one side, and I grab the other. We'll break it in the middle. That's all right. We got enough to taste. Yep. Hatch. 
Did you get any coconut? A little bit. Okay, yeah. It's it's like a, a breather effect. It's like you don't get it till you breathe in. Yeah. And then it hits you at the end. Really nice. Kind of reminds you of a uh, mounds. Yeah. Not an almond joy, but a mounds. Because there's no almond in it. I'm worried about the mint. Because I really don't like mint. <laughs> mint and chocolate don't mix together. It's called Mint Patty. And I'm assuming this is Net Australian Nestle's version of York Mint Patty. Or Girl Scout Thin Mints. <laughs> nope, more like a pat patty. Yeah, it looks like a York mint patty, doesn't it? It does. Whoa! Oh, no. The mint hits you. Yeah, oh. Crap, my Yeah, I can't do this. Whoa, that is way too... Ugh. It's real mint. Like, if you've ever just snuck by a grocery store and just grabbed a... A mint leaf, and said, "Hey, I'm gonna eat this." That's what it tastes like. Whoo, Australians, what are you doing? Put some sugar in there or something. Okay. Get this one. Well, actually, I think so. The Australians are a lot more healthier. Obviously, they ain't got much to eat. <laughs> well, well, that we would like anyway. Got pixie dust all over it. Make sure you don't fly away. <laughs> it's called Cherry Ripe, made by Cadbury, so this is going to be good. Hmm. And for people that don't like cherries and chocolate, go somewhere else. Well. <laughs> <laughs> if, you should, if you insist. Oh, Lord. It, it's, it's, it's like really cherry. Oh. Break it off. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'll stick it back in the back. <laughs> Look at the inside of that. I know. It's, it's, just, it's, oh, it's got some, like, cherry jam or something I in it, too. <laughs> Terry's just sitting there waiting for it. He's like, come on, boy. It's not as cherry as you think. No? It's like a cherry coconut. I think it's some. Well, obviously, his opinion of it is going to be biased because he don't like cherries and chocolate to start with. I like chocolate. I just don't like cherries. Cherries and chocolate together. Um, let's see. I got everything mixed up in here on accident. I'm having to look through. Okay, this one is called Milo. Made by Nestle in Australia. I keep saying that like everybody doesn't know this is an Australian box. <laughs> this is a fiber bar. So yeah. I think they just call it a rice crispy treat. This is not a rice crispy treat. Okay. That's more manageable manageable size. Yeah. What else? It looks like Rice Krispies and cereal of some kind. But what if it's Raisin Bran Crunch or something like that? Chocolatized. The Australians will go to war. <laughs> Raisin Bran Crunch. <laughs> From Crow. <Crow-Aw. laughs> yeah. No. no. You can definitely tell it's fiber bar. Because there's hardly any chocolate in it whatsoever. Really hardly any sugar. And it tastes like you're eating dry cornflakes. Basically. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this violet crumble. Right. Violet, not violent. <laughs> it could be violet. Well, maybe if it tastes bad. If it's cold enough, we'll probably beat somebody with it. <laughs> oh, it's chocolate covered. What the? 
I don't want to know what this is. <laughs> this really scares me. Oh no. <laughs> I can't break that one off. Not that suck. <laughs> it looks like styrofoam in the middle of it. Oh. Smell it. I'm scared. <laughs> like I'm re I'm legit scared. Smell it. I've already smelled it. Oh. <laughs> it smells like over over scotch butterscotch. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but if it's chocolate it's butterscotch, hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know what this is. A Halloween candy used to get in a little clear stripe, black stripe. Yeah. I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. They're like in a little bitty wrapper. Mary Jane's no. Uh -oh. it, anyway. But whatever's inside the middle of this, it just kind of like melts away. It melts away, but it's really, really good, and it smells nasty. False Never ever. judge a food by its smell. False advertising. <laughs> I'd like to file a lawsuit against the Australian food court. <laughs> All right. Apparently, he's a monster chew. What's that? Monster chew? Hmm. So I'm assuming this one's going to be really hard to break. Would you look at that? It's trying to poke out from the middle. I need to quit with the Australian accent. I'm also half worried that our taste buds are getting tainted by everything. Expecting the softness of it. Mm. It's like a Twix. Twix is my favorite. That and Milky Way. That's it's like a tie between the two. I'm a sucker for Reese's. Yeah, chocolate and peanut butter. I think it's. I think. I think it's, I've ate it so much that it's overrated for me. Fan Tales is what it's called, whatever that is. Oops, I just ripped the wrap a little bit. Let me have that on. Because I got more over here. I thought you said this was gum. It looks like gum. It's chocolate. Now that's false advertisement. Wrapping gum wrapper and then be chocolate. Okay. What if it's chocolate gum? I don't like the sound of that. It's like eating that one extra flavor that came out for a while, uh, baked apple pie. It was really, really good, but the thought of chewing an apple pie for three hours was, was a little unsettling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's some, uh, I can't figure out what's in the middle. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh. <laughs> Taffy? Mm, it's good. Uh, it had a weird taste at first for some reason. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, that's definitely a taffy. We'll be back after this uh, this commercial break. Two hours later. <laughs> Two hours later. I need to figure out how to download that. No, put that on the video. She'll be chewing around that taffy again. <laughs> and that's where we're back for another commercial break. Oh my god. Does this stuff ever get out of your teeth? No. <laughs> I knew I was going to save this to last. I thought that's what you were going to do. I thought that's what I was going to do. I've got anything else. Yep. So now we're down to 
the last one. Ooh, and it's nice and cold, too. Oh, it's an energy drink. It's an energy drink. <laughs> I'll give you a second, then. <laughs> Gee, you'd think two commercial breaks and three hours later, you would... <laughs> God bless the Australians. <laughs> They're just trying to compete with all the animals there about jaw strength. Apparently. <laughs> Alright. Me and Zach can save everything else and take it to the family for them to halfway enjoy. About spill that one out. Put everything else up. These are really good. The, uh, what it tastes like the pizza chip. The first one we did. Yeah, the, the, uh, Pringles yeah. pizza. That was really good. Yeah. The, the, the gummies were good. I'm not big on a chip person anymore. Like, corn chips. Look at this. Looks like I got freaking cocaine all over me. Ha! I'm clean. <laughs> Except you're the one that opened it. I'd watch out for that. <laughs> I got my this looks so wrong from, what, from the way it looks on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, hey. <laughs> no, I'm not taking a leak in the drink. I'm just trying to open it so it don't spew in my face. Again, that might, that's might be, might be what it tastes like. Okay, kid, we're good. It didn't explode. Here. I don't know. You haven't popped the top all the way. Oh, man. I think it's slushy. Is it? Yeah. I knew I should have took that box in last night. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's the way the can crushed. I thought it was. Okay. You know those little blue cans of Mexican juice that save a lot? <laughs> the ju the Humex? It looks like J-U-M-E-X. Yeah. Yeah. The guava? Yeah. Smell. Ooh. It smells like Red Bull, too. Oh, is that what Red Bull smells like? Yeah. I haven't had Red Bull in forever because I don't like the taste of it. I'm pretty, yeah, no, no. It's Monster. The original Monster is what it sounds like. It's yeah, like. or Nos. Yeah, Nos, oh, so that's what I'm thinking of. I don't even, see, I don't even drink it. Stuff anymore. Tastes like a NOS mixed with some kind of juice. Like a tangerine. Yeah. It works. No, it's really good. Oh, yeah. Yep. I just taste more NOS than anything. Yeah, NOS. Wait till the end. Then you taste the tangerine. Yes, I love food that comes in flavors. It's like a surprise one after the other. You're just like, ooh. Have you tried the Japanese soda? Uh, Ramunian, Ram, uh, Ramune. No, I ain't never tried it. Oh, I want to, like, cause I, cause I think the idea of pushing that marble in the middle. Oh, it's fun. Actually, I got a marble at home stuff because I broke a bottle at work one night. I used my motor tool and just like broke the neck. It took me an hour and thirty minutes to break that bottle cleanly, just so I could get that marble out. I wasted an hour and a half of work time while I was getting paid, mind you, to break that bottle. <laughs> you really want to say that on the camera right now? Oh, yeah, you don't work for them anymore, so... I don't work for them, no. I'm good. <laughs> Watch him come back with you. You've been summoned to court. You owe us for an hour and a half of your time. That'd be much. $14. <laughs> then court calls. Oh. $50. And then a lawyer fee, unless you represented yourself. I'm just going, yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> Some money. I mean, like, do you, would you like somebody to represent you? No, 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 no. I'm not paying two thousand dollars for for a fifteen dollar fee. Basically, yeah. <laughs> or fifteen dollar. That'd be ridiculous. Issue. Yeah. That's good though, yeah. 
that's all we got for today. And apparently my phone uh, video limit's getting ready to be reached. So see y'all tomorrow. Or well, not tomorrow. Whenever the next video is. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever else you do. And peace, God bless. See you next time.